Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 17 in chapter 25. Chapter 25 is about electric currents and resistance. So there you can see we have a Cooper wire. Look at like this one. And the resistance is 10 ohms. So we write it down. At one point, we cut it, right? So the length for this first part is L1. The length for this part is L2. Mm -hmm. And then we find the resistance for the R2 is four times of resistance for R1. So we write down there, R2 over R1 is four, right? Now, ask you what is resistance for each pieces. So there you can see we talk about resistance, and this resistance is relatively to the length. So very easily we can consider this function, right? Resistance equal to resistivity times the L, the length, divided by A. Do you agree? Yes. And we know the total length for this one is L1 plus L2. As the given quantities tell you the ratio for R2 over R1 is 4, so we can work on it uh, one step further. You can see we input the functions for R2. As R2, the rho times L2 divided by A, do you agree? And R1 is the rho times L1 divided by A. You can see this rho depend on materials Cooper, so they are the constant, they are the identical, right? And L1, L2 is uh, different. And A is a cross-sectional errors. They must be equal because this is a wire, right? It's a wire cut in the middle, uh, cut in one point, not middle. Okay, now you can see you simplify this uh, function, and then you get the term like L2 over L1, right? Tell you it equal to 4. This is the first equation we have. The second equation we have is L equal to L1 plus L2. Agree? So you can see you have two functions. Very easily, you can get the L1 and the L2 in terms of L. Agree? Yes. Now, we can calculate the R1 and R2. As R1 resistance for this part, it is a rho times L1 divided by A. Agree? And L1, we input it inside. So L1 is L over 5. So you put it inside. Then you get you can simplify it because we talk about this R is rho L divided by A. So rho L divided by A is R. Replace it with R. Then R is 10, 10 over 5 is 2, right? So this part is done. We look at second part, R2. As we talk about, R2 is rho times L2 over A. And then we can see we input L2 as 4L divided by 5. So input it inside, we can see rho L divided by A is just R. So we replace it, and we get the term look like this one. Input R equal to 10, we get answer there. Thank you.